Hey, welcome to Building Dreams podcast um, from the series of Dialogue of the Art. My name is Seya Tarawali and I'm a civil engineer. My name is Ilagi Ude and I took the part of the software engineer. Hello everyone, I am John Safoyo. I'm the salesperson. So actually we are here to talk on building dreams. We all know that right from our childhood days till now we're all having this aspiration mm -hmm. of building our dreams of wanting to be someone yeah. in the future and for me i'll say building dreams is the ambition the enthusiasm we put in for, for whether it's personal or professional just to see that our future becomes a brighter one so you guys i don't know what's your own take on it um, first of all, when we talk about building dreams, um, the idea I get, first of all, when you are building, you start from the scratch, right? Step by step process. And if you are relating it with your dreams, it means how you go about achieving your goals. Because your dreams can also be your goals, it can be your aspirations, it can be your objectives in life. So it is the plan, okay, the process, the way you go about achieving your dreams, whether you encounter setbacks, challenges, but you are actually working towards what you want to achieve. Yeah. 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 Um, talking about steps to step processing and all, for me, um, when I hear building dreams, I think about collaboration because it's building yeah, exactly. and you can't just build something by yourself and yeah, alone so I, yeah i think about coming together and making sure that you achieve something that's what i think about yeah so based on what we we um did in our um in our series, series. building dreams right you know, I took the part of a software engineer and we know as innovation, as innovative as the world is becoming, the use of technology is randomly taking space of every country in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I'll see technology as a key factor because it creates a platform, a podium of where it, uh, um, it serves as a key to building and unlocking loopholes when it comes to building one's dream or in whether into real estate that's professional or into your own personal life. Um, yeah, there's a point there. Actually, technology is the order of the day. We yeah. can't overlook that and we can't deny exactly. that. Exactly. But also, for me, I think it's also more about, as much as technology is good, but it's more so about... Um, learning from the individual person like for example the three of us we can like pick ideas from your idea plus my idea plus his idea i feel like it's one of the thing that is mostly important sure, like sure. collaborating with different people as much as technology is important it is also important to actually also be able to i don't know share with other people like yeah. get people in mm, on board yeah yeah, yeah exactly Technology, as you say, it's 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 the order of the day. It is you know every every everybody's is rushing into technology. Okay, we are in the age wherein, or we are approaching the age wherein um most things that we that we have to be doing, most facilities that we have to um, deal with in our daily lives, they will have to be on technologies. Mm -hmm. There are AIs that they are developing. We have these, yes, we have these tools that we are using, especially like in, um, in our universities. Mm. Um, we have these apps that we are using to do our homework. And yeah. uh, um, um, before it was not there, it was not available. But now we see that with the emergence of technology, it's something that is reachable, it's achievable now. And so with, um, your tech um putting it into real estate as the script goes it's um something that that is incredible because you'll be able to track investment yeah you be, you'll be able to um the um 
investors will see their investment grow in real time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so technology is so, so crucial, so important. It keeps them up to date because you you not want to, um, maybe, you, maybe I want to meet you and ask you, how's my project going? I'll just use what? My phone, yeah, right? Phone. Yeah, yes, maybe right. you've even created what? A um, platform for all of your investors. Yeah. We'll just what? Chat there, right? Yeah. I, How's the investment going? You'll even send what? The pictures. pictures. You'll even um, take photos of maybe if, if, it's, if, it's a ha if, if there are houses, you're selling houses. You take photos, send it in the groups, and then we can all should maybe choose from what we want to um, buy or what we want to invest in. So it's yeah. somehow simple. Yeah, can, can we say like technology is also part of, um, <laughs> I don't know if this sounds okay, but it's like, it's just like, I have you, I have this, yeah, I have something me, like and collaboration. we have technology, yeah. Yeah. it's part yeah. of the collaboration in building our dreams, like it makes it easier, easier. Yeah. Yes. and it makes it faster. Faster, easier. And yeah. um, you, you, you can, it, it can also, decisions can be made quickly. Yeah. No, so like, um, you know, it's not just about technology, mm -hmm. you know, building dreams also talks about our individual growth. Yeah. You know, like our growth, because so long as you have the ambition to it, you know that you have to take every step towards reaching that goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we are going to that goals, there would be strenu strenuous climbs. Exactly. So like building of dreams will go, will have some impact of growth in you, the individual, yeah. or even in even if it's an organization you're working in. So growth as well plays a vital role in building of dreams. Exactly. Yeah. And also from the seas, like um, we can say that, you know, the civil engineer and the salesperson and the yeah. stuff, they were just there waiting, like, just sitting down yeah, and waiting. Yeah, Although yeah, there yeah, was an initiative yeah. by the salesperson to do something. Yeah. yeah. I think in our dreams, it, there is also... That's, yeah, that's, that's the mistake that most people do. Okay. Waiting for someone that might never show up. Yeah, just for example, look at me at the last soul, I think, yes, where I was saying that I was scared to show my interest into technology because yeah. I was scared that bigger companies or people might steal my ideas for me. Yeah. Just imagine. And that was me. I, w I have the dream and I already put it into action, but I was scared of, of showcasing what I know. So, like, what you're saying here is... Very, very vital. So, so mm -hmm. yeah, so, 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 um, I believe like fear, fear is normally, um, the cause of that. And I believe fear is a factor. It is, you cannot have a dream and you don't, you, 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 you don't, you cannot be afraid of, of your dream. Um, there's, a, there is, there is an adage that says, um, if you are not, if, if, if you didn't, if you don't dream big, and you're not afraid of your dreams, then it means you are not dreaming not at all. Big, it's, it's not big, big, it's big enough. Big enough. Like if, so it's, if your dream does not scare you, you that means it's that not means big it's, enough. It's, not, it's not a dream and it's not big enough. It, it has to, you know, you have to be afraid. Definitely, there are bigger, there are bigger investors. You might have your ideas and there are people who might steal it. Yeah. There are people who might photocopy your idea there are many, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you in, but we all can attest to it. There was a certain time, I think it was two years back, mm -hmm. when Sierra Leone started having some, like a real life show. There was a huge tension between Junior Navo and Zainab Sheriff, right? Yeah, because, exactly. um, let me say like 90% of Sierra Leoneans were saying that Zainab Sheriff was the one that came with the idea. She generated the idea yes. of having big, big sister, something like that. Oh, yeah. Real life something, but all of a sudden, Junior Nabo just snatches from her. So, like, Zainab Shay built the dream, but was stolen by uh, um, Junior Nabo, according to what some people were saying. But, yeah, like, exactly. the, in times like that, so, yeah, some people might actually have the idea of coming with greater initiatives, mm -hmm. better initiatives, but like that. Yeah. But if they're kind of like saying, they take this 
a scenario that I just brought up, they will say, ah, oh, I won't share my dream. I won't share what I want to do with this, mm -hmm. with my sister here, Sarah, for her not to steal my dream for me by dimming my light and letting her own light shine out. Because you all can agree with you. Sometimes the people will start, people start waiting between big sister and big brother. Yeah. So, yeah. I something think like the, the problem with those shows was the ownership. Yeah. I think Zaina actually wanted to own our show. Junior never wanted to own, own the show. show. So I think it's, if the, because now what's happening to those shows, I don't hear about them anymore. Yeah, like yeah. if both of them would have collaborated, I think it would have been something really amazing. But because both of them wanted to own the show, sure, like yeah. there's so, nothing so, that's even yield from that. Yeah, so, so like, like in, 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 in Sierra Leone, basically, that's our biggest factor, you know, selfishness. And also, I think that um, the idea of ownership is also something that kills dreams. Because as a civil engineer, I do have my ideas of um, making real estate um, yeah. accessible and sustainable. But my fear of someone might steal my idea has been something that has been holding me back. So I think it's ownership is also something that really kills dreams. Yeah, ownership. That's true. Exactly. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, um, it definitely has to be there. Fear just has to be there. Now, as a salesperson, I too am afraid at times. Fear of rejection, huh? fear of failure. You know, when um, we are out there, mm -hmm. right, trying to make people buy into our ideas, yeah. we convince them so many ways so many different strategies we used but um at times there are some um investors you can do this do that do this do that do not buy into idea into your idea and, sure um i yeah. don't mean to cut you off but like that fear of rejection i for say in a way like i've been in that um, position yeah as a, because back then like my elder sister she owns uh, uh um some like confectionery shops. Okay. So like, just imagine I've gone out there. I try to market her as, uh, um, what she sells out to a friend. Okay. Upon wasting all my energy <laughs> into convincing them to buy from us because they, since they do this uh, um, wholesales. Okay. So like, and we buy large stock so they can come buy to us and they sell it out to the public. After wasting my 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 whole day explaining yeah. to her, and they actually say like, "Okay, no worries, Sonia, no worries, Sonia." <laughs> when they call you, yeah. And just the next day, after hiring Keke, this <laughs> Keke, for, packed it up with four um, cartons of biscuits, mm. an additional one as a patronizing something, mm. and she's like. Oh, I'm sorry, but my um, other colleagues have already put in order for my other show. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's, it's what difficult. is this? Yeah, it's so I just had this fear of rejection. The fear of rejection. I was. I, was I like, think it 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 actually um, limits us. Also, the fear that we'll be, oh, we'll be rejected or our ideas are not good enough. Yeah. Like, but I do like like from the series how like we actually ended up bringing the idea of us collaborating because sure. it pushes you um your idea versus my idea versus his idea it's it gives you the confidence that you need like there you there's other people that think like you and i think collaboration is key for building dreams yeah. so I, and yes 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 let's don't forget to have drinks too so cheers <laughs> to collaboration <laughs> cheers okay <laughs> So, collaboration. <laughs> I think we're trying. To, we're building dreams, indeed. Here, yeah. we're building each and every one yeah, of collaboration. Those dreams. And um, collaborating has to. I think it has to. Um, it goes with with patience. You know. Yeah. Um. So many times, just like um in the series, right? We waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. At times, um, your wait could turn out to be significant, okay? Yeah. Yes, Waiting yes. in the sense when you are in sync together to um, maybe um, to develop an idea, to um, actually 
um, to actually have a goal that you want to reach up to. So if you collaborate, you put in your ideas, I sell, you code and you create. Your job is just for us to what? To give you the go ahead. And I know you have these um, blueprints of your portable homes that can be affordable mm -hmm. for people. So if um, our ideas are aligned, because you cannot have this idea, and I have that idea, and then you have this idea, which cannot be in sync, then we expect collaboration to, to match, or we, accept, we, uh, we um, expect success to, yeah. to um, happen in our goal that we want to achieve. So collaboration has to do with patience, and then your ideas should yeah. be should in align. sync. They yeah. should align. Just, just imagine um, the, the idea is just going with patience. You know, in that phase, none of us knew ourselves. You know, like yeah. in my entrance, I was like, when I saw you, I have to ask if I was in the right room. <laughs> so like after waiting, as she was saying, waited for some hours, so we've so, been watching our clothes yeah. and you've been bringing an idea that maybe the yeah, investors got, uh, have got, gone out got, to invest in something tired. else. Yeah. So like, if we if we never had that patient to get to sit together, yeah. discuss discuss of our various rules, we won't be able at the end of the series to kind of put our, our ideas together yeah, to I form believe, ourselves yeah. as a team. I believe so. Patience really pays a lot, you know, yeah. because even though the investors will come, they will Gross. invest. But like since we three have our own ideas, we can work together as well. So like it. It's some like patience and connectivity between us. Yeah. So like the align of patience is really, really Yeah, so um, so um um Sarah really played a great role. Yes. Because, um she waited. She I, really waited, I, yes. I, I, <laughs> she waited for a very long time before we came in. And yeah. I was even late. Oh, really? So just imagine if I didn't meet you guys there. Just so, imagine, just, uh, imagine guess, just imagine spending the whole night. I guess your eyes would be yeah. were paining you. Well, the spending the whole night trying to form a blueprint Twins. to showcase to the investors yeah. and, and then, then not show. Nobody like, showed up. And so I was like, like, like what's their effort? These investors, maybe they too are finding other people yeah. to, to invest in their own investment ventures. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so if you look, if, if we weren't um, patient and, 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 and then you were talking about connectivity we have to network if yeah. everybody was just there oh I mean a civil engineer oh no yeah you know I mean a software engineer exactly. and then I came yeah, I don't yeah. want to because you guys were so busy playing with your computers <laughs> yeah. and I was like ah, I have so many accounting equations to 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 balance and all so I was like you know what I'm tired of this waiting I mean, you know, maybe as we were yeah. practicing, I, w I was expecting that maybe our investors will come, sorry. But at the end of the day, we found out that we were making a big mistake, sitting and waiting for a miracle investor. I think in line <laughs> with what you are saying. As I, and as you said, maybe they were already investing in something else, you know. And they, maybe they, they weren't even considering us anymore. Yeah. So... But I do hope, I do hope because I guess I'm praying that let there be a series because it's nice. It would be really nice to see to for us to showcase what actually we can do. do. So it would be nice Together. to see inv the investors Together. come in board. So like, so you people watching us out there, just know that he is a salesman. <laughs> she's a salesman. Yeah, she's, a, she's I'm a, just out there to, yeah. to network so, with people. Yeah, yeah. So you to can see contact that us. these guys, especially. <laughs> The civil engineer, she has all the work to do. But, yeah, but please bear in mind, we are just saying something here. So, like, if you know someone out there with the ideas, with the potential of doing something, you can actually boost that person up. Mm -hmm. I think we should so, just establish that collaboration is the key. Is the key. It was saying something yeah. very important. You see, when you are in a group, set of group, you, you like to think that, oh, I'm the best. I don't have to talk to this person. I don't have to yeah. share with this person. Yeah. I think that is also something that kills dreams. Yeah, networking. Yeah. Yeah. Networking, networking is poor. It's and so poor. as well, if you out there, you know of someone or somebody who you think is really good in what he or she is doing but can't afford it, 
and you think you can afford it, you can really help, you can send a helping hand to the person. Building dreams doesn't entirely means individual, but you yourself can help. So yeah. that's how we'll wrap um, um, our um, first. Yeah. Sorry to cut you, but that's how we'll wrap our <laughs> first yeah. session Just of Building Dreams. Don't forget and to collaborate and yeah. Make sure that um, you just know if you are so scared of your dream, just know you are heading for the right and place. And mind you, and mind <laughs> you, I believe in the power of the people. Mm -hmm. um, a quote by my director, mm. he said he believes so much in the power of the people. People, you, you, he said you can, you, you can never achieve your dream without, as we are saying, collaboration. You can never do it yeah. you mm. alone. You have to network. So the voice of the people, when you are two in numbers, three in numbers can speak a lot. As there's a saying again, which says, two heads are better, better than, than one. Two, <laughs> we'll so no, be no, back. two better heads. <laughs> two better, two better heads, heads are better than, than, than one. one. So Next we'll time. be back shortly. Don't touch the dial. The dial. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch the screen, actually. Who we'll will be back? Stay fixed. Uh, uh, stay fixed. Stay fixed. Screen. And we'll be back shortly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. We're back. But before we go further, I would like you all to know that please don't forget to like, follow, and share Koei Inspires. So our topic here for today is based on building dreams. So over to you, my colleague, Mr. Fire. I know you were having something to say. Yeah, I was talking about the power of the people. It's so vital. It's so important. <clears throat> people coming together, working as one with the same idea. And that's to achieve the stated objective. Um, there are so many people that have, you know, actualized their dreams. They've started maybe from smaller, step by step, and then um, today there are bigger people in society. There are bigger companies in society. For example, um, there is a company called Keller Williams. It's it's an American company. So like this company is a real estate company. They started real estate in Austin. They were um, having a single office wherein they were selling shares little by little in just the area. But as time go goes by, they started expanding out of Austin. They went to different states, Washington, New York, Mississippi, Pennsylvania, different states. And then, um, they became one of the most um, profitable and one of the top real estate companies in America by then. So a um, few years back, they, they, are, they, they, they went international, they went global. So going global, they um, developed a university with that, um, with that mindset, with that goal that they wanted to achieve. They, um, they've um, written books, they've made <laughs> magazines, and they've won so many awards. Oh, now, wow. they are the top class, or they are the top most um, real estate company in the whole world. So wow. we, 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 we actually saw that Keller Williams is actually, it's actually two people. Okay, Joe, Joe Keller and something Williams. They collaborated and they are now one of the most profitable real estate companies in America. So, um, like we are saying, like we are saying, the power of the people is so important. They conjoined their ideas, their efforts, and now they are reaping out of it. I, I, I. I do wish I have an idea of what you are talking about. <laughs> Me too. Wow. I, say, I was actually paying, <laughs> paying attention to what you were as saying. As much as I don't have an idea, I do get your point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about collaboration and starting small until it grows oh, into shit. something. Like, I do get your point, but yeah. I will surely look up that what and you are also saying. Also, connectivity. Um, co collaborativeness. Comes, as you yeah, said, you made mention of two co different people, yes, right? They are yeah. co-founders, Keller and Williams. But yeah. it, it is really nice because, for me, talking about real life, um, I do collaborate with my friends doing a lot of things. And because I think, because we share a lot of ideas together, and because of like 
we don't we are not like i'm the leader or you are the leader we actually just come together to do things um yeah. and that is why even at a young age we were able to found an organization because i think there is so much power in working together with people when you your ideas are aligned yeah. that's the key word don't forget you can't be working with me while i'm passionate about i don't know making drinks and you are passionate about um something else yeah, that yeah. Should, does not should, even align should, the align. ideas should collide yeah. together yeah I understand exactly um so so yeah. with this idea of connectivity as you were saying of leadership you know the act of leadership is not too vital in, when, so long as you all have the same the same the same um, strength the same idea the same belief so long as you want to work on the same goal this idea of leadership you know one will say um because i have the idea i came up with the idea and the other will say okay you came up with the idea but like i am the one putting the more effort into building that idea of yours coming mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. so like some like t issues it, come up between between them so it the, also goes back to the idea of ownership yeah like i said i think it's one thing that destroys dreams like you know if it's if it's not like if it's not if your idea is not actually actualizing like it's not happening there is no value in it mm -hmm. so whether i own it or you own it the most important thing is is it working is it help is it growing like is it helping other people is this idea of us being a, a reality like, think, um what's my brother here was saying the court the institution the uh, um, real estate you were just talking yeah. of they both collaborated yeah. mm -hmm. the ownership they didn't mm -hmm. say like because i came with the idea and he said because of i i the i have the strength the capital and all so i was supposed i'm supposed to have the ownership over yeah, this and, thing yeah and, and but either they decide to collide together and yeah, make one bigger yeah and mind you there there were, there were some time when um the the um business began to crumble there were there were some time when they had tough times but um they you know they did not look at the challenges that is also what we shouldn't be be focusing on okay yeah. what if i fail you, yeah. you have to think think about that but you should not relent what if i fail okay. there are challenges i cannot you, you should not be lazy i believe you had to be um, um, um a workaholic you should be very, very hardworking. So now let's take these examples now here into our own country, Sierra Leone. Okay. And I will take the entertainment industry as a paramount example. Yeah. For example, let's just take this um, Cal De Nero and Incredible JJ. We all noticed the tension that was going on in social media. The curiosity yeah, when Cal De Nero um, asked for a, a, a meeting with incredible gg and incredible gg like no you don't have to tell me directly you have to tell so there are messages going all around people are saying and people start going that ah, i'm not so called in every time you know for a build some you have some negative feedbacks people were giving yeah i think it, it's a whole issue in Sierra Leone music industries because it's a big issue like established artists are not even um, willing or even ready to help upcoming artists. Like, yeah. um, I was listening to a show, um, The Vibe by Slim Peasy, and he was interviewing an artist and he was saying, like, there is no collaboration between, like, upcoming artists and established, uh, established artists. Because, you see, if you are an established artist and you are helping someone that is upcoming, your fans, your fame is going to have a positive impact sure. on that upcoming yeah. artist. And it's something we lack here. You can see for Nigeria artists, you see, you just start singing and want you are blown up because you see most of the established artists um, just grooming up these upcoming artists. But Sierra yeah. Leone, I think it's a, it's a whole problem. Yeah, so, a big so one, problem. Thing, like, one thing I love, one thing I love about Nigerians, they are so supportive. Yeah, if, sure. If we could reciprocate that, I I think uh, that's why again our uh, uh, music industries. Most of the industries, um, the comedy, the this, the that, yeah. they are lacking. There is this spirit that they are lacking. And you know, they kills, are, they are, they are trying so very hard. Some of them, some of them are so good at what they are doing. Exactly. But it's very difficult for them to explore yeah. because yeah. Um, the, negative, no the negative, the um, negative, um, um, 
um, statement that they are giving to them, no help, no, yeah. no um, um, you know, no motivation. And exactly. you know, and you know what, actually, 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 we'll say that these artists would want to help the youngsters coming up into the music industry, but they are not the ones because mm. they are they are willing to help. But you see us, the citizens of Sierra Leone, we are the ones destroying <laughs> the dreams of those people. Because, yes, for sure. Because, yes, for sure. Why no. I say that? Just imagine, example, there's a clear example between Ekwene Bujeji and Kao Dineo. Yeah. We don't know the type of partnership, the mm. type of collaboration. What if Cardinero was calling for them to have a, a, a duet together in a song, something yeah. like that? Like, yeah, like, and, like, in, like in Nigeria, sorry, like in Nigeria. Um, um, like, if someone like Davido calls you, you know, you, you yeah. will be like, Thank ah, you! You would say, tech, um, call example, my manager table. first. I don't know if you guys know about portable. I mean, table. I don't want us to put but, judgment there. Because, no, no, it's, you it's, know why no, I put judgment there? Just I'm imagine the sentiments people were going to. Um, call the number one, 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 one. Yeah, Now, because you know, of you get beefy yeah, with yeah, another as, person, as, as me, as, something like that, you understand? Yeah, as, and that's not good. That is what you might think that you're boosting up the uh, incredible JJ yeah, up yeah. to perform more, but indirectly you are affecting him. Yeah, as, as, what as, if, as, just say, what if there is a chance that Caldinero can as well help? Building someone up is not just, it doesn't rely on just one person. Exactly. It depends on connectivity. Mm. Yeah, and we all yeah, know how yeah. Caldinero is well connected. Very influential. Very influential. Yeah. The so, reason why we should not put judgment there, because we didn't know what his intention was. Like, we didn't really? know. Fine. <laughs> well, the reason that we didn't know, that's the same reason why people were not supposed to cry down. That's so personally reality. for me, personally for me, I, I, I didn't support Incredible JJ. Because somebody of that, that caliber calls you, even if you called him, right you cannot tell him directly so maybe i believe maybe because he's he's young also maybe that's why you cannot say you have to speak to my management when you were the one that requested for the, the meeting okay cardinal is so influential i'm telling you and i i i was watching um a uh, um <laughs> it's it's a reaction to to there was there was a time in cardinal's career he was like they were, they, so, they were beefing different artists. This is about they building dreams. Them. I, I don't want themselves. us to establish no, they were, they were, about they were about building dreams. Yeah. Okay. But we are just saying Let something like that. That will destroy that dream. Because imagine, <laughs> imagine, just for instance. Yeah, but that. if someone really wants to help you, they will help they you. They won't like, help you. Yeah. It fact, does if not... something like that, if there is, a, if there is I, anything I, like the disturbance going on between the both of them, or between his management and cow, I don't think it's something that's supposed to go to the internet. Yeah. Of course, it, they are celebrities. Everything and, about no, them. And yes, that, and yes they are celebrities. And, but let's take example of other celebrities out there. Yeah. Okay. You have to. I think to, we should to, just to, go yeah. back to, to, our to, to our topic. To our topic of dreams and stab whatever account in there. I don't so, know. So, um, something that has been bothering me about um, dreams and building dreams and fear and everything um do we like i have this question that I've, I've been thinking about do we like feel like our surrounding also limits us because you know fear is something that i don't know it's instilled or somehow it goes from an experience yeah. or something so do we think like um are we limited by our surrounding like we are taking Sierra Leone for example uh, yeah, do exactly. we think that we are limited by our surrounding exactly. yes yes, exactly. yes yes we are so limited by our surroundings. Our surroundings plays a greater role in impacting our dreams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, take for example, someone that has been, let's say, sexually abused. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, um, if that person says she wants to go to, she wants to continue uh, her school, there will be stigma on her. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this stigma will um, limit the person to maybe you had your dream, you want to become a lawyer, you want to become a doctor, you want to become this, you want to become that, just because of society <clears throat> cannot accept what what have happened to you, which is not your fault. Mm -hmm. Okay, it limits you to to what 
to maybe give when you're if let's say you're in class it limits what your participation it limits even the way you study even your even 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 your performance it actually has an effect on it so society limits our dreams a lot especially yeah. now we are in the internet age there are so many bloggers there so many different bloggers some are not even registered <laughs> yeah you know when yeah when you when you when when you want to start an a franchise uh, a franchise like that you have to be a registered company we have some that are not even educated they are just there to cry people down yeah and criticism yeah, you see true. criticism criticism is vital when when, when they criticize you it it's supposed to what to impact you to do what more, more. but the way we are doing it here in Sierra Leone is it, it's not criticism it, it's what crying you down so we see a surrounding maybe i i i, I always say our mentality our it's mentality true. as well um, for yeah. me give 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 the cause for us to to actually cry people down to the way that they're not able to act it's they're not able cool. to perform they're not able to they're not able to actualize their goals their dreams their aspirations yeah. i think for me growing up me i've always wanted to be in front of the camera if okay. i look at myself in the mirror and i'm acting and i'm doing things but because i grew up like in a christian environment i've always been told that oh the one the way they're acting that the slip slip puts there <laughs> not only you but yeah so, like you can't be part of that like um because it will mean you are wayward or yeah. you yeah. you day for the streets yeah. something like that so it's been something that has always limited me like i won't even dare say i want to be an actress or i want to because, do, because they will cry you down yes if i don't they will even class you like that exactly so so you you will have that fear yeah. no what would society say exactly what would this say what would that say i think they will even misinterpret like, you. even at like, least um, to us posting on my status me sometimes i want to post something i'm like Hey, what would this person say? <laughs> say like, yeah, it's it's. Food, um, <laughs> I I can take an example of of those young boys coming up. Some have the passion for football. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. see when they are playing these community leagues. You will see how devoted, how how well they put their strength into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the moment you say uh, um, something like. Uh, opportunity comes for them mm. and they want to grab it maybe like in the community it's happened once in my community mm -hmm. like uh, a boy he was so good when it come in terms of playing football and there was a certain time someone from the Sierra Leone Football Association I think he he, he was invited to see the community league mm -hmm. so he spotted the boy mm -hmm. and was actually in favor impressed. of the boy mm -hmm. and he was really really impressed mm -hmm. So he wanted to draw the boy in, coach him, be his own personal coach, and see how he can actually polish the boy. Because he, he, he actually interviewed the boy. I think that's something uh, also so, we lack, that mentorship yes, that you're pointing out. He wants to mentor the boy, mm -hmm. but because of the parent, at first the parents agreed, but later when, upon, when the, the man returned and come back again, the parents later said no. Me pick, um, I quote, me pick not go join salon football. Yeah. Me not see which uh, side salon Mate. football in the better. <laughs> yeah. Though me pick, second, me pick go do up out of school. So just, uh, you are, you, when the boy has that, and after finally realizing that his mom won't allow him, or the parent, he, he, feel, he felt discouraged. Yeah. Yeah, so, I so, felt yeah. so pity for the boy. That is yeah, breaking our down parents, his dream. Yes, our parents actually has, um, they, they normally sometimes have um, bad impacts on us. Yes. Like, for example, there are some parents, when you are in that home, and maybe your um, siblings, the ones that are bigger than you, maybe all of them are doing law, all of them are engineers, <laughs> yes. and then you just come and say, well, I want to be an accountant. accountant. They won't do it. Uh, sure. They say, this house is, is a well, law home. No. This house is for engineers. Yes. So you find out that when you um when you persist on that child to do that particular cause there will be lapses because it's not their calling okay it's not their calling so you find out that 
they will not perform. It's you know you have to have that passion. It's, so I believe parents I, they play also by yes. Also I have should. a friend of mine. I have a friend of mine. His main intention is to do accounting. He loves accounting a lot. So when he got to his WAS exams, he got an excellent result. Mm -hmm. But the dad said no. He was supposed to do journalism. <laughs> Just imagine. And he sent secrets. him to Fabe College. Yeah. My dear, my, I can he, tell you. He won't he, perform. He won't perform. His grades were as bad as, they will be low, as, yeah. as anything. And whenever it's his not, dad yeah, comes, not their calling. you can't pin them. Even me, myself. Why did they go to college? Have they get excellent grades? Why are you too and, full? And, it's and not I like the fault. way I like the way my friend yeah, answered. Not it. A Do you know fault. what she said? He said, "God, you are you are breaking down my dreams. Yeah. You are breaking up my dreams. Yeah. My dream is to be an accountant and mm -hmm. not a journalist. Okay. So please, Dad, just allow me to to be my dream. Yeah, Let me go for what mm -hmm. I want." And People there actually talked to the dad and said, okay, because since he failed three times in the college, they said, okay, you can go for your dream. What do you think? And yeah. now I can tell that He's guy, performing. he he has very good performance. Very good. And because he was in second that's, year that's at IPAM passion. University. He, read, he uh, wrote, wrote an application to the UBA bank. Hmm. They took him. And now he's adding so, a yes. branch in UBA. Just imagine. Yes. <laughs> Second year, so, but adding so, a branch. Yes. My dad will always say, why don't you want to do a master's in economics? Why are you always in social, social activities? Hmm. Why don't you want a master's in economics? Because my first degree is in economics. And I'm like, what will I even do there? What will I mean, you? I'm happy going out, talking to children, going to schools, yeah, doing so, this. So, so like, what so, I'm, I'm passionate yeah, about. Like, me, basically, <laughs> basically I always wanted to do some, to be practical, okay? I um, went to one of the best science schools, Prince of Wales. So oh, when, wow. yes. <laughs> so you're a Prince <laughs> Okay. So, so when, like, um, my colleagues, when we sat to the was most of them, sorry, when we sat to the Beke, most of them were going to the science stream, to the science stream, to the science stream and all. Mm -hmm. But I always had this, and I love my, my dad. When I was young, he normally takes me to the bank. So I'd, I'd always love, you know, being around money. <laughs> <laughs> something, yeah, something practical, something you know, money is that practical. I, yes, that money, yes, it's, it's practical. You count money every day, the cashiers, you see money, you smell them, you become fresh. Yeah. So, so yeah, so I, I, ever since I was young, I don't, because of that, I, I grew love to become maybe an accountant or to be in the business field, to work in an office and just like that. So when most of them are going to the science stream, blah, 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 Society wanted to, to instill fear in me. Uh, why you not go, you know, why you not go to science? You're afraid, you're afraid. You, you understand? Something yeah. like that. So I was like, no, I wasn't afraid. I, have, I, I had one of the best results in the school. So why, why would I be afraid to go to the science team? It's not afraid, it's about my passion. And when Follow I told him, and when, <laughs> and when I told him, it was like, ah. It's your dream. I, I go on, go on, um, um, fulfill it. I so, think it's, it's, you see, if he was like, no, you know, don't go there, you should be this, you should be that, you should be this. I don't think maybe I would be performing very well. I don't think so, maybe I would be, maybe where I, where I am today, maybe I'll be elsewhere. So yes. like, so. Um, what I'm trying to say to you, the viewers out there, right? building dreams is not just about the individual as i mm -hmm. said the last time you as well can help someone build your dreams yeah. don't exactly. break don't instead of building your dreams don't break it. break it if you know you have no important role to play in that in someone's life and instigating bad ideas or influencing that person into doing something that's out of his dreams just don't if you you don't don't that. um make yourself available to and, him yeah. and it's never too late it's never too late like we take kfc for example yeah the person yeah. that started it started it 
in his 60s. It, it's yeah. never too like, late. I'm it's too never... old to start up something. Something. Yeah, yeah age. Age doesn't <laughs> matter. Take, for example, I think CFC or CKC yeah, yeah. chicken, something like that. KFC. KFC, KFC chicken. Kentucky yeah. fried chicken. It, he, it was 65, 65 years old. 65 years old. Just imagine. Yeah. 65 years old. And, it was, yeah, and, he, and, was. and, and he was rejected. Yeah. He was being rejected so many times. He knocked on people's door and said, no. no. He slept in his car. Just he was imagine. rejected. 1009 times mm -hmm. just imagine. before he, he was he finally actually, made it to the and United now United. he has what the best the, the best chicken, chicken fried yes, in right. the whole of america not even in kentucky anymore in so the whole if, of america yeah if you have a dream um you looking at us you have a dream just um go for it don't sit down and wait because <laughs> The best time you yeah, should have gone, gone for that dream was 10 years ago. And yeah. the second best time is now. Yeah. You have most to us, start now. Most, yeah, to, most of us will sit 20 years from now yeah. thinking, oh, yeah. if I should have done this. What exactly. you should do now, you will leave it <laughs> up to 20 years from now. Yeah. Years. Oh, so, boy, if, I, if, I, if I don't do one today, don't, yes. I will be there. Yeah. Don't be scared to share your ideas with other people. And it doesn't matter if it got stolen. Because and don't allow negativity <laughs> to overwhelm your ideas and again, of building your dreams. And again, fear is okay. Because the adage says, if you're dreams do not scare you then they are, they are not, not big, big enough, enough. <laughs> they um, are not big, big enough so exactly. we're finally wrapping now mm -hmm. so guys please don't forget to like follow and share Kuei Inspires. Inspires we love you all till next time Ta -da. my name is Eli Ude and I say bye and I am John <laughs> Sapo your yourselves man you're I'm into saying, the prince William yeah the prince William the prince William that's your dream go for it Maybe yeah, I just go and it. grab it, and you Bye. surely.